Hello and welcome to another Scardcast Battle Report. Today, we dive into the universe of Game of Thrones, while we try out their miniature game. Let's begin. Ah, the Dark Kid. Hello and welcome to another Scardcast video. This is Vince and he is... I am Sir Games A Lot. Correct. So we're here in Barry, Ontario at Sir Games A Lot, the game room, which you guys should come and check out because he, we have everything here and Vince is an awesome host. And today you are running me I through... I to say that. That's right. <laughs> you are running me through... The Song of Ice and Fire miniatures game by Cool Minis or Not, which is based on Game of Thrones. <gasps> And if you don't know about Game of Thrones, um, you should read the books, because they're pretty cool. Watch the show. Okay, that also works. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hope he finishes that book soon. Yes, well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So, we've got a force of Lannisters fighting a force of a Northmen. Starks. Of course, Starks. Because the Northmen are technically the wildlings. Okay, okay, fine, fine. <laughs> but for a Lannister, the Starks are Northmen. <laughs> Yes, we are. <laughs> okay, so um, I guess I'm playing the Lannisters then. <laughs> you can play whatever you want. <laughs> okay, so um, now that the snow is hitting the ground here in Canada, it's only fitting that we have, uh, since winter is coming. Winter is coming. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going to get to the game, we're going to explain how it works, and then we'll roll some dice. Song of Ice and Fire begins. Okay, so Vince is going to take us over some of the main game mechanics. Um, as you can see, we've got two forces laid out. The forces themselves are made from the standard box set, uh, which is a starter set with two forces, plus a ranged unit added onto each side. Essentially, um, making it a little bit more of a balanced game, we've got a little bit of uh, terrain here with some trees and some shrubbery and uh, all that good stuff. So Vince is going to get started with some things. Okay, so anyone who's played Warhammer 8th edition, you'll get a lot of the concepts here. The miniatures are heroic scale, which is 35 millimeters. So here's the miniature out of the box. There's no building. They come pre-assembled. And just to give you an idea of scale, there's an orc. So that's a 40k orc. Cool. So they're the, the same scale, unless of course you have the mountain, <laughs> which the mountain is just a massive beast of a monster. He is. He's a giant. Yes, they're beautiful miniatures. Um, there's a couple of nice things about this game which I really like. Uh, the game comes standard with two 33-point forces. Uh, a game could be either 30 points, 40 points, or 50 points. So by just adding in one unit of range combat, we are now at a 40-point game. The standard unit in, of infantry weight, uh, costs about five to seven points. A character is usually about three to four points. Now, the beauty of this game is any of those, any of you who have played Shadespire know that Shadespire is more of a deck builder. Well, in this game, each force has a deck of 14 cards. So Lannisters have their 14, Starks have their 14, and each commander brings six more cards to your deck. So you have a 20 card deck. Now, the beautiful thing about this game is in a lot of games, when you have a force, you play the, say, the force the same way each time. But if I take Jamie Lannister as my commander, because you get a free commander, he's all about hit me first and I'm going to hit you back way harder. So he's a defensive army. But if you take the mountain as your army commander, you're all about I'm going to hit you really, really hard. So now you're an offensive force. So your game will completely change tactics depending on who your army commander is. Okay, so who are the commanders today for our forces? Well, for this game... The Lannisters are going to go with the Mountain as their army commander. Okay. And Jamie Lannister as the backup. Because you can buy extra attachments to your unit, which I'll show you in a minute. So there's the Mountain there. Yes, there's and the Mountain there's there. there's Jamie Lannister. Jamie Lannister is Now, over characters there. in this game just get added to a unit, and they give that unit bonuses. They give that unit bonuses. They don't have any extra strength. They don't have anything extra. They can, some of the characters can be monsters, which they're on their own base. For example, if you look over here, this, if you take Rob Stark in your force, you automatically get a free Grey Wind. Now he's classed as a monster. Now he's only a minor monster. When, when the wildlings come out, you'll get giants 
And when the Targaryens come out, you'll get dragons. Very of cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to the dragons. That's going to be great. Who doesn't like dragons? Well, the next four's coming out at the end of this month, on October 26th, the Boltons are being released. And next month, it's the Night Watch. Very cool. So you're running... So I'm running a force of Starks. I'm yeah. going to have Grey John Umber as my backup, and Rob Stark is going to be my army commander. Very cool. Now, when you buy a unit, a unit comes... This unit is five points, and it's Stan uh, Stark Sworn Swords. And anyone who's played 40k, you're going to notice this stuff. Your movement is five inches. You have four plus to hit when you roll to hit, and at three ranks, you have eight dice, two ranks, you have six dice, and one rank, you have five dice. So as you take damage, your dice go down. You have a saving throw of four, and the morale is six plus, which is very 40k. Whenever you take a morale check, you roll the die. For everyone under the six, you lose, uh, you lose one figure. And in this game, it's all about taking figures off, the back going to the front. If you get hit in the side, your morale is reduced by one, your armor is reduced by one. If you get hit in the rear, your armor is reduced by two, and your morale is reduced by two. Okay, very cool. So uh, let's get started with some of the missions and slash all the mission, deployment, whatever we do. One more thing, when you attach a, f a character, or so this has a sworn sword captain, he gives an extra bonus. So units have their intrinsic uh, bonus, yeah. but you can attach. So if I attach Rob Stark, for example, it says here, when an enemy within long range declares a charge, that enemy suffers disorderly charge. So you can see that all command, uh, cap uh, uh, um, characters do is add to the unit. They don't give any extra strength or anything else unless that is part of the value. Okay. Very cool. So <clears throat> you can kind of pick the unit. So let's look at what Clegane does, the mountain. So uh, he has um, Unstoppable Fury as his bonus. The charged enemy units become panicked. Uh, when this unit makes a melee attack, it deals D3 additional wounds. Pretty cool, as he's a giant battering ram of a uh, person. Um, and it counts as a House Clegane unit. Cool, okay, awesome. Um, Jamie Lannister adds boldness and courage. Uh, always three is having plus one additional rank, so they become, basically, uh, they, they don't suffer as much. Yes, they don't suffer as much. So in other words, they will it's never seven, get worse seven, than a three, seven. It's going to be right very down cool. to a seven yeah. all the time. All the time, so it makes them very, very resilient, and it's uh, And if they have their full two. ranks, they get plus two dice, so, so they'll nine, be nine at seven. full ranks. Okay, nine or seven, that's pretty cool. So it makes that unit just uh, very killy. Uh, then we've got a Captain Guards. Apparently they can add minor characters to their units. Which well, here's cool. the beautiful thing about the Lannisters. The Starks are mad Norsemen. When they charge, they can kill their own guys to do better damage. Right. But the Lannisters are a well-paid mercenary army. So you can see here their morale isn't great. It's a seven. But they have the best armor in the game at three plus. But their special is if this unit is attacked and passes its panic test, the attacker must make a panic test at minus two. Right. Now, the guard captain means if this unit would fail a panic test, kill one model and automatically pass. So, anyone attacking this unit will automatically do a morale test at minus two. Starks are a six morale. Right. They so would be up to, to an, an eight, eight morale. So and if you put so Cersei Lannister on them, they would be at a ten morale. Ouch. Okay. Um, <clears throat> that sounds pretty cool. So they, they're very unlikely to run away, and they cause you to be scared of them because we always pay our debts. Wow. Well, okay. <laughs> now, there's one more aspect to the game yeah. which makes this a different game. You can buy non-combat units. Your non-combat units activate just like a combat unit, but you can put them on the political track. Now, the political track... <laughs> That's there's, awesome. There's five different things you can do. You can automatically... Put, make one enemy unit, make a panic test at minus one. Now, Cersei's ability is, when she goes on the political track, you attach it to a unit, and she adds another minus two to the... Cool. We also have restore up to three wounds and move one condition, draw two tactic cards, one for the unit. So there's politics happening in the backside, on the side of the battlefield, while there are battles raging on the field. That actually gives a little bit of extra dynamic and strategy to the game, which is really cool. Are they part of the game today? They are part of the game today. Okay. We have Cersei Lannister and Tyrion, and Tyrion Lannister Ooh. against Caitlyn Stark and Sansa Stark. Okay, okay. So let's get this party on the road.
Okay, so the mission, we're playing a Game of Thrones. It's a basic mission. There are five objectives on the battlefield. Each objective has a cool little thing. When you claim an objective, um, you can pick an enemy attachment and they lose all abilities. So I could pick a character or something and that unit would lose the abilities. The way you claim an objective is by moving a unit into base to base with it and essentially you claim the objective until you get pushed off or killed or you move away and then the enemy kind of comes in and takes it as well. So you have to hold it. It's also a progressive objective. So you get one point for each objective at the end of the game turn. The game lasts six turns or until 10 points have been achieved, kind of like Settlers of Catan style. This objective um, for this game gives an additional victory point, so it's very important. This one makes a melee attacks more dangerous, but you can hurt yourself. This one, uh, you can claim an objective, you can target a non-combat unit, so you can target one of the politic guys. And then this one over here, um, you may restore units, which is pretty cool at the end of each turn when you control that objective. So, there's also a little cheat sheet. So at the beginning of your, when you activate a unit, it's, it's uh, one activation each on a unit, so a unit by unit basis, you can make a unit do a variety of different um, actions, and each action just allows you to do a couple of different things. Pivoting happens on the center of the board, like this, very simple pivoting and stuff. You can move, pivot, pivot, move, attack, etc., etc., etc. Okay, awesome. Uh, there's also conditions you can put on enemy units that make them panic or vulnerable uh, And there's a cool little bonuses that you can get So you uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna deploy our forces and then we're gonna essentially start the game But a turn is he moves a unit. I do a unit. He does a unit. I do a unit and then I've got Tyrion Lannister so normally you draw three cards, but I get to draw four cards a turn um, so that I can use four cards because he's a tactical mastermind and all that good stuff. I also have the crossburn in the list, so I'm super excited about that. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so now we, so this is before deployment. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll a die. Yep. The highest die roll is gonna choose whether he goes first or second. Okay. If he goes first, he places a unit and it keeps going back, placing a unit okay. until all units are placed and then he's first turn. At the end of first turn, the first turn marker goes to the other player. Okay, so it's like you just re reverse initiative that way. Correct. Okay, very cool. Okay, so you roll the six. I'm going to roll a one. So I would choose you to go first. Oh, great. Thank you very much, Vince. <laughs> so you get to place one unit on the table. Okay, let's place one unit. Now, how far do I get to place these? Up to six inches in. So almost okay. the very edge. For this scenario, it's okay. six inches in. Um, okay, so I've got crossbow men, I've got the, um, the house Clegane mountain men, I've got a couple of guard, and some pikemen. Very cool. Okay, okay. Um, hmm, hmm. Well, why don't we, um, why don't we do something fun like put uh, Clegane's mountain men on the flank? Yeah. Clegane's Mountain Men. Dun, dun, dun. And I am going to place the archers. Oh, they right have to be six inches there. up, right? Six inches in, short range. If you look on the back, there's short and long range. Yeah. Short range is six inches. Ooh. So I'm placing the archers right there. Okay. So Mr. Clegane and his friends. <clears throat> uh, then I'm going to put. Now, woods apparently at minus one movement. Minus one movement. So I'm and put, you cannot see through them. Yeah. You cannot see through them. Okay. So I'm going to put uh, one unit of um, house guard, I guess is what they are. What yes, are they? the house guard are Lannister guardsmen. Armor. Okay. Very cool. They're going to go right there. Well, then, if you're going to do that, ha -ha! I am going to place cavalry. Cavalry right there. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. I'm going to place uh, my pike. I'm actually going to place the other house guard right here. All right, then. I will place Robert Stark and his goody two-shoe boys oh, in this look corner at that. here. Right on the corner there. Very cool. I'm going to place 
um, the pikeman. Let's do it here. Now, the beautiful about, thing about that unit is whenever you get charged, they as get long to as attack. it's from the front, yeah. they get to attack before combat. I'm going to place Grey Wind <laughs> on the flank over here. Very cool. And I'm going to put my guys right here. These are the bowmen guys. Haha! -ha! And by bowmen, I mean crossbowmen. Well, then I will place... And that's it, I'm done deploying. Yeah, you have. Okay, <laughs> so I actually have an extra unit to him because I have Grey Wind. Whenever you buy Rob Stark, you get a free Grey Wind because... I thought your cavalry were over there. Did I you put? Yeah, there? you put archers, cavalry, and then uh, them, okay. and then Grey Wind. All right! Yeah, then. look at him, All look right. at him cheating already. I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so I'm set up then. All right. So do you go first? So, uh, no, I chose you to go first. So you have um, the most uncomfortable chair on the planet. Hooray! And you get to activate one guy first. Here you go, Jamie. Oh, for you. Don't forget to draw your, your four cards. Okay. Now, are they secret? Yes. Yes. All right. So I can either activate one of them or I can activate a unit. Correct? Yes. Okay. Okie dokie. So let's start with four cards. So I have no idea what they do. Um, okay. Very cool. They all have like a trigger, so you can kind of... Yes. Um, cool. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Now, I'm not going to fully explain the rules to Ridvan, and now I'm going to hit him with them during the game, <laughs> okay. because that's, that's what I do. It's a Game of Thrones. It's very sneaky that way. Yes, yes. And I am relatively evil. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... <clears throat> I'm going to... So next turn, you get first turn, correct? I like, will be playing okay. first next turn. So you go first next turn. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate uh, Clegane's unit. No, actually, yeah, let's activate Clegane's unit. Why not? So he can do one of five things. And he's going to double move. So he's going to march. So he's going to do a march, which is... And with a bellowing order of... Clegane, his mountain men, move forward twice movement, and then they can pivot at the end. So I've kind of just pivoted them a little bit that way, and I put a little flag behind them to say, ba boom they, they have back. activated. And now it is Vince's turn. So I'm gonna take Sansa Stark, yep. and I'm gonna place her on to um, this one here, where I'm gonna draw two cards and place. Now her special edition is once per game, Mm -hmm. I can search through my tactic deck, or my discard pile, to pick a card that I want. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to place her anywhere. I get to draw two tactic cards. Yeah. And I get to place one condition marker. Now, there are three condition markers in the game. Yeah. There is weakened, which means I can make him... Sorry, weakened, which is I can make him re-roll any of his attack die. Yeah. Uh, vulnerable, which is I can make him re-roll any of his armor rolls. And panic, I can make him re-roll any of his morale die. Now, that says any. So if he rolled a six and a one for morale, I can say, yeah, re-roll the six. So I'm going to take the panicked one, and I'm going to place it on the mountain's men. Yeah. Because I really hate those guys. <laughs> they are really, really bad. Okay, I love it. And that was that activation. So. And that was my activation. So I am now done. Perfect. Okay, so what am I going to do? I think I might, um, uh, yeah, why not? Uh, do you have any, what's the, what's the morale on my your My morale horsemen? is six across the board, four for my berserkers, and two for my Okay, grave so I'm going to make your horsemen take a panic test. Oh, so, now, uh, Cersei says you can attach her to a unit, and for the rest of the turn, that unit is minus two morale. So he's going to throw that on me too. So my morale is normally six, minus one for this, and minus two for Cersei, Aha, because she's scaring it's me. It's an 11. It's a six plus three is nine. Okay. But good try. <laughs> That's the English math. Yeah, it is. It's a Lannister math. So I'm rolling, and I rolled an eight. Yes. So that is one wound. Now, normally, every Aha. figure is one wound, but cavalry are three wounds each. So I take one wound. Correct. There you go. 
Take and that. it's back to me again. Take that, horseman. <laughs> well, that was just, that was a mean, mean thing to do, sir. <laughs> so I'm going to activate... Backstabbing already. Grey Wind. Now, Grey Wind is a cavalry unit. Cavalry units get a free maneuver before activating. So Grey Wind is going to go here, pivot, move six inches, pivot again, and then he gets his activation, which is going to be a march of 12 inches, minus one inch because I'm in the woods, and then I'm going to turn like that. Cool. Super so he fast. is now activated, and I place that to show he's activated. Super fast. Well, Cavalry are very fast in this game. Yeah, that's very, very fast. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. 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 So I'm going to put Tyrion on here, and I'm going to remove the panic. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, and he gets to restore three wounds as well, but they haven't taken any wounds. Hooray! So no panic for Clegane's Be unit. that way. Be <laughs> that way. <laughs> I like the politics game. This is fun. <laughs> um, all right then. Well, I'm going to take Caitlyn Stark. I'm going to place her on one friendly unit. Maybe, actually, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do that yet. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is okay. I'm going to have my mountain men who are now. The, these are different. Because if you notice in all the others, as you lose ranks, you gain, you, you lose strength. But these are berserkers. As they lose ranks, they, <laughs> they gain more dangerous. strength. They become more dangerous. That's really funny. So I'm going to have them march. They have a six inch move, so I'm gonna have them march 12 inches straight up the center of the table and say, come and get me, you Lannister dogs. dogs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, okay, I see, I see. All I see are little pups. Pups. All I see is an Atreides I wish to kill. <laughs> Sting's greatest line ever. Okay, so now I have done my politics, so it's just a matter of maneuvering and stuff here. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to uh, double move this unit of house guard. Now they move. They only move four inches, so, so that's an eight inch eight. total. Ha ha! How they gonna go? They're like so heavily this. armored. They're slow as. They're just slow. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Yes. That's right. That's correct. Ah. Oh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Well, Rob Stark is gonna answer the call. There you go. And about time. The North remembers, so he's gonna march ten inches because his guys can move ten. They're not as well armored as uh, jumping off the guys. Cliff. Um, so they're going to move to there, and they are going to activate. Perfect. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to move them. There. Boop, boop. And a, an activation marker. Well, my archers ha! will match your archers, and they will also march 10 inches up the table. Cool. To there. Cool. Okay, uh, then these guys are going to advance as well. Uh, oh, they're gonna, sorry, I can move straight forward if I double move them, correct? If you double move, you can move straight forward. Now, you are allowed to move through your own trays yeah. as long as you don't end up on them. Okay, I'm just gonna do a regular move. They're gonna so pivot four inches. and move up four. Okay. Um, Activation token. Boop. Then my Guard will move up 10 inches. Cool. Now, a full game of two people who know what they're doing would take 45 minutes to an hour tops. Well, with all your talking, Vince? <laughs> Three hours. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pivot them and they're just gonna move up a little bit. All and right. they're act. I'm done, sir. Okay, well, I'm actually mostly done as well. I still have my archers to move, uh, my uh, cavalry. Yep. So the cavalry, again, being cavalry, they can move a free move of six inches. Then I'm going to move up 12. Now, hedges have three things, three keywords. They have hindering and destructible and um, a third one, which I just can't remember. Um, which doesn't actually matter because they're, they're going to crush Hindering it. rough. Rough means minus one to movement. Okay. Hindering means if they charge across, you roll two die and take the lowest one. 
and destructible means if, they, if anyone moves across them, they are destroyed. So I'm gonna move 11 inches, because that's all I can move, to here. And crush it. And I destroy it, so it is now destroyed. So it comes off the board. Crushed. And that's the end of my turn. Very cool. And now that, now I, he gets to go, he doesn't have anything left. I still have Caitlyn Stark left to go. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do, Caitlyn has an ability, when attached, she can attach to any unit and they get to use their maximum number of dice regardless of how many ranks they've lost. So because none of my guys taken damage, I'm gonna put Caitlyn on the Berserkers, which means they're gonna roll 10 die. But again, it's the last turn of the game, so I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna go here. One friendly unit may make a free maneuver or retreat. So I'm gonna have Grey John Umber here march, but he's only gonna march up enough to touch the objective and sit on it. Because as long as I'm sitting on it, I'm gonna score. Now, there is no scoring turn one, but I'm just preparing for future considerations. Okay, very cool. So super maneuvering, getting up, and that means we reset the turn, correct? Yes, so everything comes off. Okay, resetting the turn for turn two. We now score, but there is no scoring on turn one. No scoring on All turn one. All the characters come off. Oh, the char oh, even the politics characters? Politics characters Does that come mean off. Does she... Caitlin comes back. She comes back, okay, And perfect. this now goes to me. Okie dokie, and now it's your turn. Now, uh, also in the end phase, you can yep. discard any cards that you don't want okay. and draw back up to your maximum hand size. Now, I have five cards because I took two in the politics phase, which means I have to discard three just to take one. So I'm gonna sit with what I have and say, hardy har har. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna keep my cards as well. So Vince, that is the end of first turn, and now the action will begin. Okay, intrigue continues as the battle rages from House uh, Lannister versus House Stark. And uh, we're on turn two now, which we'll probably put a little marker here. Turn two now. Boop! There you go. So I'm going to take Sansa. Oh no! And I'm going to place her on one friendly unit, may make a free maneuver action. Okay. Now this does not activate me, which I really, really like. And you can measure at any time. So I'm going to have my archers move up. Take this objective here mm -hmm. and, just, and just sit there. Within range. Within range, because okay. I can shoot 12 inches. This is the maximum range that I can shoot. Okay, perfect. So I'm just gonna sit there and go, Narni, Narni, Narna. Narni, Narni, Now, narni. it says here, while controlling this objective, which I do, this unit's melee attack gains Sundering, which is minus two, one, uh, minus two to defense, and Vicious, minus two to their In the melee. Yeah. In melee. Yeah. But if I do, I have to suffer die three wounds. Yes, so the archers are on the melee objective. That's super fun. Um, <laughs> okay. Hmm. 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 Ah. Ah. Hold on a second. Da, 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 da. Look at the really. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be. This is actually really entertaining. Okay, so uh, how many wounds does that wolf have? Two. The wolf has. Two wounds. Two wounds, okay. She's gonna make him panic. Okay, that's not worth it because his morale is two. That would take it to five, which means I'd have to roll a two or a three on two dice. Roll it. You're gonna get me to do it anyway, all right. <laughs> roll it, if you roll low. No. Seven. Okay. I did. I, I thought his morale, I guess his morale Well, no, really that stays good. on the whole game. Okay. Well, the whole For turn. the whole turn. Okay, hey, well, you know, two wounds. I was hoping I'd kill him. Well, you were hoping wrong. Okay, you go. Okay, <laughs> so you've so now we've got two politicals. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have Caitlyn Stark go onto one unit gets a free attack. Yeah. Place Caitlyn onto my berserkers because they get maximum number of die. Okay. And my archers are going to shoot at your guys that I actually did measure. So when you measure, you measure from the center of the unit. Again, you're allowed to pre-measure to the closest part of the enemy unit. So what I'm going to mm. do. I archers are gonna volley fire into Clegane. Now, I, because they're archers, they can actually shoot over enemy troops. Okay. Now, my action is I can shift up to two inches and shoot. But my special is, if this unit does not shift before attacking, it gets plus four die. I get six die in a volley, so I will get 10 die total. At this point, I can also play a card if I wish. Look at him thinking. 
which I... Or for a unit of archers. Will not. <laughs> so, okay. Because none of these apply. Yeah, yeah. So I get to roll 10 die. Yeah. My hit is four up, so I okay. need fours to hit. Okie dokie. I can, I can also ignore intervening units and terrain. So fours, one, two, three, four, five. So I got six total hits. Actually, there's only five die there. I got 50-50. That's right. So I give this to Ridvan. Ridvan's armor for the mountain men, I think, is a five. It's mm, a four. Four up. So he's That's four it, it's saves. just fours? That's it. So he hits, and then I just have to roll saves. And you rolled, so three guys die. We just take them right off. Bloop. And he has to do a morale check. So immediately? Immediate morale check. So two die, you need seven or higher. And you rolled four. Three guys just, oh my God, we've been hit. They run away. <laughs> okay. That was good for that me. Was, uh, that, was, um, that was dangerous. Okay. And again, because that was on the political track, they still haven't activated yet. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. Very cool. Okay. So uh, Tyrion has to now politically, um, and he's gonna heal three of them back again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So you always place them from. Yeah, yeah. From left to right or whatever. Left to right. All right. Um, all three right, of the well, mountain men come back to life. I am gonna have. Yeah, I'll just do it again. again. So oh, I'm gonna no. do it again. <laughs> let's hope. Let's hope for some better dice rolling for Clegane and his mountain men. <laughs> for a exactly the same hit. Hey, you know. Let's so now 50, you do your 50. roll. Okay, come on, Clegane. And he yeah. failed two. Two this time. So two die. Hooray! And that's another morale check. But this time it, with a minus two. Nope, nope. It's always the same. Oh, it's just the same. You, you never didn't mind. That's a 40k. 10, thing. that's fine. All right. So they roll high. High is good, low is bad. The only okay. time you roll less uh -huh. is if you have a condition, or if I hit you in the side or hit you in the rear, it's minus one, minus two. Hooray. Okay. Whew. Whew. Okay, Clegane. So now he's activated his archers. I'll be back after I think about this. Okay, so I'm going to activate the crossbowmen. What they're going to do is a shift, which is just a two inch maneuver, like shift so they go two inches in any direction forwards backwards sideways sideways and then now that they're in the forest they can shoot through the forest and they're gonna aim and fire into that unit of archers <laughs> yeah. there you go that's exactly what we were looking for okay how many dice do i get so they get seven dice and they hit on threes so i get five i need two more dice there and they hit on threes, and they're long, what's long range? Long range means short range, long range, so you can shoot up to 12 oh, inches. Oh, okay, okay. And the defender stuff is minus one to your save rolls. Yes. Because they're crossbows. So that's four. So four hits, and my armor is normally a five, so I save on a six. Okay. So I, three guys died. <laughs> Okay. And I have to do a morale check. My morale is seven. They're the only ones that have a bad morale. And five, two more run away. Okay, cool. And I've activated my crossbowmen. Now, had Cersei been on that unit, it would have been an extra. More people yeah, would have yeah, run yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. I can see how that, that could stack up pretty quickly. Cersei is nasty. Okay, your turn, sir. All right, then. So I'm sitting the objective here. I'm sitting on an objective here, so I have the bonus. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna have the mountain men move up. Do, 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 do. And they're going to threaten that objective. Cool. Because that's how I roll. I love it. And with these guys, I want them to die because I want them to get more powerful. Makes sense. So I get to activate a unit? Now you get to activate a unit. Okie dokie. I'm going to activate. Um, I'm gonna activate this unit. You really wanna to touch the objective if you can. 
Oh no, I can't do that. Yes, what am I you're doing? going with four inches. No, I can move eight inches straight, straight forward. Yes. Okay. And so then I'll you do that. Pivot at the end. And then I'll kind of pivot to, to, uh, to, to. Now that's this a thing, bad right? pivot because if you do that, you're actually I can actually attack you in this side. Okay, that's let's it. do that. That's what you okay, want. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Aha. So that says when you claim this objective, you may place it on one enemy NCU. So don't place it on Sansa. Let's place see. it on Caitlyn. Which means Caitlyn's ability has now gone away. She do, she doesn't get her special ability. Okay, perfect. So, so pa -pa. actually keep it over there. Yes. But Caitlyn is now she can't be used void. at the moment. I can't use her bonus. Oh, sorry about the camera. The rest of the good. Flipping there, rest folks. Of the turn. Okay, your turn, sir. Well, that's just mean. That's right. <laughs> um. Well then. Okay, the mountain hasn't gone. So I'm going to have Grey Wind. I'm going to have Grey Wind. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to have Grey Wind. She, he, because, again, he is a... He is a uh, cavalry unit, uh, technically. <sighs> See, I can charge you in the side, but if I do that, I'm going to be hit by these guys and die a horrible, horrible death. <laughs> um, and Grey Wind really doesn't want to do that. So I'm actually going to turn a full pivot. And run away. <laughs> and I'm going to use him for something else. I'm going to move him six inches to here. Yeah, makes then sense. Then I'm going to turn, oh sorry, and then turn. That's my free maneuver, and now I'm gonna move 12 inches down here and turn again. Cool. And that's activated Great Wind. Okay, my turn? Yes, your turn. Perfect. Um, so I can, one of your abilities Attachment. So he can now attach abilities. it. So you can attach it to Rob Stark or Grey John Umber, or even my what does he do? In there. My captain means now. I I did him to an Umber unit because Umbers are quite powerful. He allows me when this unit makes a melee attack after the attacker rolled, the defenders become automatically vulnerable. So I get to make you re-roll all your morale, uh, all your armor saves. Yeah, no. He, 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 no, no, he, he doesn't work right now. All right, then. So I'm going to flip him <laughs> over to show that he is no longer... Yeah, he's no longer working. A working... I want my armor person. saves. He's, he's, he's dead. My armor he's saves. He's dead to me. My armor saves are important. Okay, and the mountain has activated. All right, so because the mountain's activated, it means John here can go. Now, the thing I've got to watch for is you're going to get first turn next turn. So the mountain charging... <laughs> is a horrible, horrible thing. <laughs> now, I'm gonna check for range first. So I have a five inch movement, and you are 10 inches away, which means I'd have to roll a five or a six for a successful charge. Do I have a card to help me? Dun, dun, da, 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 um, I need to roll five or six. I know my die rolls. <laughs> I am not a lucky person. <laughs> so, for this situation, I am just going to... I know your movement is only five, so I'm going to move up a little bit and threaten your flank. So if you charge my cavalry, if you charge my... Uh, archers, I'm going to hit you in the side. So I'm going to turn, move, and turn again. So I'm going to sit there. Okay. I'm not going to get a successful charge this turn. And I'm scoring points, so. Cool. Okay, right, my turn? Yes. Well, how far do they move? Six? They move six, then 12. 18 inches. Right, but they when they move, they get they have to move they straight have a free forward, maneuver. right? They have to. No, no, the maneuver is a free maneuver, so I can move onto your flank and charge you in the flank. Interesting. Yes. So they're cavalry. These are light cavalry. They're just gonna do this. 
There we go, something like that. Okay. Now, I was Activated. a little bit afraid of that, but I want to take the objective, and that's worth two points. It is. So I'm actually going to move up and just, just touch the objective, because okay. I want to score points. Cool, my turn. And it is your turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think they have 10 movement if you want. Mm -hmm. Uh, five? Yes. What are they, the ten. spearmen? They five? The um, no, I don't want to move ten. But they're gonna... Can they pivot after? They yes. Can pivot after. Yes, I'm pivoting. Like that. Okay. Okay, and for me, I'm just gonna hold on them because they're sitting on objective and they're protecting it. So that's gonna end the turn. Now, when... So that we go to the end of the turn. So at the end of the turn, when these score, I can restore up to D3 wounds to a friendly unit. So I'm gonna pick the archers. And they're all three, so they get three guys That's a back. D3, by the way? That is a wondering. D3. So three archers come back to life. Um, and you get one, two, one, three, four. Two, three, four, four victory points. To my, th to my two. To your two. No, one, two, three. You got four to my two. Now, yeah. these yeah. guys have to do a morale check at minus two, because that's what it says here. So Ooh. they have a six morale, they're up to eight. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> so one guy runs away. That's one, two wounds. And this one has two wounds on him. So that, that was costly. That was costly. Two points, but you took some damage there. Okay, very cool. You also score one victory point for every enemy unit you destroy. Okay. So all these come off. Sounds really fun. Again, you can discard Okay, so now cards. it's reset time, and we are resetting. Does her card come back, three. or does her act... Her like... card comes back. Okay. Um, and now we're reactivating for turn three. And we return for turn three as action-packed. Four VPs to the, um, to the Starks, to two VPs to the Lannisters. They are starting to fall behind. So, um, in my t first turn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate Cersei Lannister to make a friendly unit make a free action. And I'm going to make the cavalry um, minus two morale. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to free activate my, my crossbowmen. And they're going to... In range, yes. Sh they're they're going to shift two inches, essentially. Directly sideways, directly forward, or directly back? Yeah, so directly sideways there. Yep. They're going to shift and they're just gonna shoot at your guys. So, seven die needing threes to hit. Okay, so that's needing threes to hit with seven dice. Six hits at minus one. one. I'm, four morale, so, uh, I'm four armor, so I'm up to five armor. That's correct. And I saved four. Wow, So good roll. That dies and one more. Cool. And then I have to do a morale check. My morale is normally six, with Cersei is two. So it's eight. So I'm eight. Oh, five! <laughs> that unit is... Dead? No! I have one point five. No, no. they are running away. Three, four, five. Yes, They're destroyed. Sir. So that gives you an Hooray! automatic victory point. I get an automatic VP. And my cavalry are now fired from, the, from my service. Hooray! Okay, and I still can't use any of this stuff, I think. Okay, very cool. So Cersei's gone. I killed the cavalry. I get an extra victory point. Ha-ha! So I have a gold coin now. I have a gold coin now, and that was a free action. Thank you, Cersei. Thank you. Okay, moving on. All right, then. Well... I cannot let that stand <laughs> unforgiven. Yes, so, I love it. When um, I'm going to shoot at the mountain men again, the mountain men. Okay. Um, with yes, yeah, so I'm not going to shift, so I get to roll all my ten die. Yep. Yeah. Uh, two, four, six, eight, nine, and there's a die there. Ten. ten. I need fours to hit at the mountain men. Correct. At the mountain men. Okay. I want him dead. Five again. Five again. That's pretty I standard stuff for cannot you. Cannot roll above a standard. Needing fours. And there's three go down. Three go down. So oh, we're down. down to one rank. Oh no. I the could mountain. kill the mountain. Morale check. Morale, uh, highs are good, right? Uh, you want high, yes. Hooray. That is high enough. Okay, I love it. So I don't lose any additional men. Perfect. And that was 
for me, an activation. Very cool. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put Tyrion on here, and I'm going to put reroll attack dice on that unit. So you're making me vulnerable. Gonna make them vulnerable, and I'm gonna draw two cards. And I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna spend one order token to see two of to see two of your cards. I'm gonna make you discard one. Okay, so I'm gonna give you. And then these two are the ones I have. Um. I'm gonna give you those two cards. Hold on, hold on. Uh. Cool. Okay. And I'm going to give you those two cards, of which you can get me to discard one of them. When a friendly unit declares a charge, upon may not play tactics cards. Okay. When a friendly unit makes a melee attack, okay, I'm going to I'm going to discard that one. Winter has come and gone. Okay. Hooray. Okay. Uh, and that is Tyrion. Tyrion playing playing to the to the politics of the game. And it is your turn, my friend. All right then. Well. 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 It means I just have to do this because it's kind of what I do. Okay. I'm going to activate the Mountain Men. Yep. They are going to turn. Yep. Move. Turn to here and turn and move to there. Yep. Yep. And then hopefully they die to their own morale. <laughs> and you know what? I'm actually going to choose... What? I'm actually going to choose Caitlyn to do that, just to get a free maneuver. Okay. Because that way I don't have to activate them. Okay. So I'm going to do that. So they're free maneuvering. So I had a free maneuver. But you've activated Caitlyn. Okay, so it's my turn. And Caitlyn doesn't get her special ability because... Yes. See, I um... want you to charge me first to kill some of my mm -hmm, guys mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I become more powerful. I agree. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to activate this unit of guard. Go ahead. They're going to charge into that unit. All right. So what you do is you measure from the beginning, yep. which is only... Is a, it's from the middle? No, it's from the center to the closest, which okay. is just over six. So it's seven inches. So you turn now. And unfortunately, you're going through this. Uh, you're supposed to turn to the center to center. Well, no. Okay, I'll allow it. That's fine. Correct. That's fine. So you're going to roll one die. A two. Two. So... Minus one inch because of this, so it goes down to uh, a seven, uh, five inches, which actually is not enough because you would have to have gone through the woods to get to me. Okay. So four minus uh, six minus one. So what happens is you move five inches directly forward. So even if I clip well. you, you there, a, you need a seven. Yeah. So you go to here. You're not you're not touching. Okay. And it's a fail charge. You have to do a morale check. Can I maneuver? Or can I pivot? No, it's just a straight head charge. Okay. And six, so okay. you lose one guy. They are your six. Your morale is seven. Oh, are they? All Lannisters are seven. Oh, okay. Um, um, I, and I could kill a guy to make them pass or whatever. Yes. Okay. And here, when you claim this objective, um, while you control, you don't control that anymore, so Caitlyn's ability is now kicked in, but because I have already... Actually, I've already attached her... Uh, her ability is gone. Okay. And that was a activation. All right. Um, that was kind of handy. So what I'm going to do... It was. They jumped the gun. I'm going to have um, Grey Wind activate. Mm -hmm. And Grey Wind is going to get a free maneuver. Bloop, 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 bloop. And then I'm going to charge into the flank. Okay. So I roll two die. Yep. Or one die for the charge. Six, no problem. So it's not a disorderly. Because even if you roll, if you if roll, roll a one, one it's, disorderly. it's a disorderly. Yeah. And I'm going to play cards. Okay. Uh, winter is coming. You cannot play any cards. Okay. No cards for me. Okay. Then I'm going to play... No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, I'm going to play this. When 
When a friendly unit makes a melee attack, which I am, this attack gains Sundering. Defenders lose minus one in their defense roll. If this unit has only one remaining rank, it does. It also gains Vicious. Defenders suffers minus two to their panic test. So, I get to roll two die, because that's all he rolls. Okay. And I hit on twos. Yep. So, two hits. If yep. I fail, because it was a successful chart, I get to re-roll. So, two hits. Yep. Um... If the attack is the flank or re, you're, so you're vulnerable and vicious. So vulnerable means you get to re. So roll your defense, which in this case is minus one because you're hitting the side. So your your fours is fours. I will spend the vulnerable token to make you re-roll that. Okay. So fours again. So one, one guy dies. Bloop. Now you do a morale check at minus one, minus two, minus three. So there are ten. So they're ten. But here's the thing. My Hooray! Okay. So, <laughs> their special is whenever they have to make a morale check and pass, I have to do a morale check at minus two. So my morale is four, Ooh. so I'm fine. Okay, interesting. That was not... What you expected. What I expected. Cool. I'm okay, okay. with that. <laughs> and right. that was your activation. That was my activation. So he's activated? He has activated. Okay, very cool. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and activate my crossbowmen. Okay. And they're going to shoot into your Norsemen. I like that. Norsemen, guys. Might as well. Uh, so I get seven dice, and I'm hitting on the threes, because they're in the same place as the other guys Correct. are at. So that's five at so minus five saves one. At minus one. My morale is only five to six. So none. So five guys die, which means I am now more powerful than I was a second ago. Hooray. Okay. A morale test? Uh, morale test, my morale is four. <laughs> they another another guy runs away. Okay. <laughs> they got good morale then. Because they don't care about dying. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to have Rob start charge the mountain because I... Oh, he has a vulnerable token. You know what? I... <laughs> I am going to... Have Sansa move to here. Remove a condition token? To remove a condition token and yep. heal three wounds. Yep. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to do that. So, I'm going to remove this condition and I'm not going to heal any wounds from him. Okay. Um, then I'm going to declare the charge. From whom? With this unit. Oh, sorry. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know what oh. he's doing. <laughs> Go right ahead. Okay, so I'm going to maneuver them. Okay, something like that. See, I want to heal, so I don't want to get those guys off that unit, because if they attack you, I can't score the points. That's right. So I'm not going to do that, but I will declare a charge with Rob Stark. Okie dokie. So closest is going to be seven. I need a seven to touch. Okay. They have a five inch movement, so I need to roll a two or higher. Now, I'm gonna play a card. Cool. I am not gonna play a card. Okay. I'm just gonna roll the die like a good boy. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Five. Uh, yep, so he makes it, right? Yes, so yeah. I make it. Let and I'm go. only going to clear half charge. Okay, half charge in there. Okie dokie. So, I get to roll... Six. So you're, you're attacking me, right? I'm attacking you. So I'm going to play a card. I get plus one to my defense rolls. Okay. And if I control the money, which I don't. Okay. Well, I'm going... So Rob Stark's guys get eight dice to attack. Two, four, six, eight. Yep. And I'm going to use my Stark Fury. Okay. Before rolling the die, this die gains plus one to hit, and critical blow, rolls of six do two damage. If it does this, at the end of the turn, I have to roll die three, die three guys in my duck of my own die. Okay. For each six? For, no, no. Oh, I just oh, automatically okay. use okay. die three okay. wins. Okay. So, I'm going to roll. Yep. What did you need? I needed uh, threes to hit, because it's fours plus one to hit. Cool. So I'm going to re-roll those. Now, if I wish, I can re-roll these to try and get sixes. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not going to. Right. So I roll it again. 
And so oh, I've got eight hits on you. Yep. Um, I'll just re I'll just roll. So you've got to roll those, and your defense is five normally, down to four because you did the. Uh, oh, it's four normally. Is it four normally? So it's three. You're down to three. Thanks to my wealth of the rock. And one, two, three At guys least three die. Three guys. Which is really bad because now you've only got the mountain left there. And he it's a morale a, check. He needs a morale, correct? If you don't roll seven or higher. Ha ya! Nine! Hooray! The mountain is alive! <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, uh, I'm happy for him. I'm happy. I'm happy that he's still alive. <clears throat> Okay, so now I get to activate, correct? You get to activate one, yes. Correct. Okay. I'm going to... Um, oh, hold on. Oh, oh. What's that? All right. Three, Three. of my guys run away. Aha. Does that mean they, they morale too? No. You don't have to do a morale check on an actual attack. On a, on a if the enemy attack. does stuff yeah. to you? Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Um... Oh, right, sorry, I already activated the archers because they shot at them. Yes. Um, so no, I... they did. Oh, yes, they yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, Cause shot shot the... yeah. Because I shot at the... I shot the horsemen, they died. Yeah. Shot at him. So I might as well activate the mountain, right? Yep. Okay, so the mountain... Um... So you get four dice, and uh, when this unit makes a melee attack, you get D3 or additional wounds. Okay, so critical blow rolls a six, cause two. I get four dice, because he's just... He's just beating stuff up by himself. And hit you on need threes. Fours, uh, threes to hit. Yes. Threes. It's four dice hitting on threes, but I get D3 additionals on top of that. Yeah. Okay, Mountain, your time to shine. <laughs> hi -ya! So, so he does three. So one dies oh, automatically. Right. So one dies wait, automatically. Wait, that's, that's just a... That's a wound. That's, that's not just, a save. Oh. So that, that's an automatic but, death. Okay, dead. And Being then two. Being hit by the mountain is hard. And then two. And I get two saves at yep. four up. Okay. I save them uh, both. But you do morale But now. I still have to do a morale check at six. Cool. My two God, my morale's killing me. Hooray. <laughs> Fear the mountain. <laughs> yes, the mountain is bad. Um, okay, hold on a second. Boop. Um, okay. Okay. <clears throat> very cool, very cool. Um... Okie dokie. Uh, so he's activated. Uh, you still have your mountain men to activate, and you still have this unit to activate. Yes. So the mountain men... So this guy here is just going to... Oh, do I want to kill you? No, because I want to heal three wounds. So they're going to activate and do nothing. Okay. So I'm going to activate these guys. Done. Okay. Then the mountain men will also activate and do, do nothing. Nothing. Yes, that would make sense. Okay, and that is the end of turn three. So, All right, uh, so points I'm, wise, one, you got four again. I'm going to do three wounds, and I'm going to. Rob Stark's unit is going to heal up three wounds. Okay. Um, where's the die three? Can you oh, the there you go. Three, please? Thank yes, you. Yes, sir. For two wounds, two guys come back. So, I've got one point to his four. Aha, yeah. so that's eight points to four. The yeah. Lannisters are feeling it because I decided to move off of this objective, uh, being silly that way with that charge. Okay, we'll reset. We'll come back for turn three. And we come back on turn four. Dun, dun, dun. With the, Lann with the Lannisters reeling at the, at the might of the Stark army. Eight victory points to four right now. Oh, I um, and you get to draw a card. How many do you have in your hand? I only have two. Okay. So he draws another card, and he gets first activation. So I'm going to take Caitlyn. Yep. I'm going to put her on a friend unit may make a free attack. I'm going yep. to give that to Rob Stark. Rob Stark's going to attack the mountain. Okay. So with Rob Stark going back up to full, I get eight dice. Yep. Needing fours to hit. Yep. I am going to pick my ability to... Add one to hit and critical damage, and minus. Uh, I know we'll take D three wounds at the end of the turn. Cool. And wow. Three get three go through. That's really bad. Okay, and six so four go through because six is two hits. Cool. So four go through, and I need fours to save. Fours to save. You save four take fours. One wound, you die. Hiya. Oh, he's one so dies. close. So <laughs> the mountain is dead. 
the mountain dice. Which means I now gain one victory point for killing. Now, normally what happens is when you kill an enemy unit, you may do a free pivot in any direction you want. Okay. So I get to pivot in any direction. If it's from a charge, you get a complete free maneuver. So I'm going to turn like that. Okay, so I'm gonna play a card. When a friendly unit is destroyed, um, I'm gonna make this unit panicked and vulnerable. I'm oh, sorry, what's panicked? Panic means you can get me to reroll a morale check. Okay, so I'm gonna panic this unit, and what's vulnerable? Vulnerable means reroll an armor save. Okay, I'm gonna make them both on that unit. Okay, perfect. So now it's your turn. Now, okay. a good move for you would be to take Cersei, drop Cersei on there, put her on here, and which would make me to do a morale check at minus three, yeah. and you can get me to reroll one of the die. That is also correct. Or you can charge me somewhere else. And choose All right, me. so first thing I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to... Do, 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 do. Okay, so yes, I am gonna do that. She's gonna go on here and make, and then do a minus two to his morale, and then force him to take a morale. So I'm six, plus two is eight. Correct. Plus one for this is nine. Correct. And you can make me reroll any of the die you want. And I'm also gonna play a card after that. Okay, so I'm six. Okay. So I'm gonna lose three guys right now. Okay, well I want you to reroll that four. Five or six, come on. Four. Okay. So, so I lose three guys. Three go down. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Perfect. And I'm going to play a card as well. So, uh, no, that's different. This card here. Oh. I'm also going to, I'm going to play this card because you failed the morale test. Yes. Um, so I'm going to. For each model removed by this test, restore one wound to a friendly infantry unit in short range. In oh, short range. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, never mind. Never mind then. Um, I don't have anything nearby, but I am going to do this. I claimed a tactics board. I'm going to pick a friendly unit to make a free meal. No, that's replace. So if you, instead of instead of doing uh, what's left, you replace it. Oh, great. Okay, never mind. So that's not as cool as I thought it was. Okay, very fun. On to the your activation. All right. Well, I'm a hurting unit. I, I am going to, I'm going to take Sansa. Yep. I'm going to place Sansa on here to restore three wounds yep. to Robbie because yep. I could see myself getting archered and dying <laughs> and remove the vulnerable. Okay. Very cool. Renew removing that vulnerable token is a big deal there. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to activate, um, I'm going to go ahead and get Tyrion to um, uh, do this here, but I'm gonna use my card and I'm going to replace it. it. I'm gonna attack the pup. Now, you can attack normally like that, mm -hmm. or you can turn and face him. You don't lose any attacks. It just means if you turn and face him and I charge you, it's going to be bad for yeah, you. Yeah, no, I'm not. But I, I just get to attack you, right? You would get to attack okay. me. So they're going to attack you. Do I have two ranks? You have full ranks. Full ranks right now. you lose a rank. Okay, so house guards six dice. get six dice. Needing fours to hit. They do indeed. Fours. Uh, two hits. Two hits. I get two saves of armor of three up. Three up. Ooh, wow. Good little puppy. No damage. Very now, cool. Just so you know, because you hit me yeah. and I didn't take any wounds, that class is for me as an automatic morale pass. So that's important when I attack you. If you didn't take any damage, I would have to then roll at minus okay. two. Okay. I did not know the puppy had a three up save. Okay, uh, but that was a free action. He's a giant, he's a monster. Yeah, he's yeah. A Your turn. My turn. And that was an activation. No, no, it wasn't. Oh, Tyrion wasn't. activated. Oh, with your special... Cheaty cars. <laughs> <sighs> politics, politics, politics. You know what? It's a game. Yeah. Let's have some fun with Let's it. Let's do it. I'm going to charge your guys there. Okay. So 
I have a six inch movement. I need eight, so anything but a one. I'm gonna oh, do- Fateful words, that. <laughs> fateful words, that. And I'm gonna roll. Three, which ah, is enough. They make it in. Blah, 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 blah. And I get to charge. Now, I have normally eight die, nine die with two ranks, so I'm gonna okay. go with nine die. Okay. They are my super berserker dudes. So they get sundering, minus one to your defense roll, and you become vulnerable. So, I'm gonna roll, I need threes to hit. So I become vulnerable. So I got eight hits on you. Yep. Um, you are vulnerable, which means um, I can get you to reroll. So your, your rolls are four up. Three up minus one for sundering. Reroll so the saves. You just all of them? Yes. So six. So six die. Three, four, five, six. Five. Um, and that is a morale check, please. Sevens. Seven, yes. So two more run away. I'm gonna just murder one. Yep, he murders one. So <laughs> that means I have to do a morale check at minus two. Yep. So my morale's four, so I'm six. And hey, finally passed the morale check. Fine. Okay, my turn, correct? It is now your turn. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Um, okay, okay. Hmm, 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 hmm. Do I measure from the center or do Measure I... from the center. So they have a five move, right? So they They have need... four. No, they have Oh, sorry, they have five, move. yes. So I need. Now, because it's going over this, it's, it's minus, minus one. one. So I need an eight. And you so have to roll eight. two die and take the lowest. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Because it's just in the way. Because it's in the way, yes. Okay, so I am going to activate um, the Art Bowman. Yes. Okay, and then I'm going to shoot at your Bowman. Okay, so uh, you get uh, seven die. You need threes to hit. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, yeah. Six. Six saves. My save is five, so they're up to sixes. Wow, there you Three. go. Three die. Bloop, 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 bloop. Do they get less dice with less ranks? Uh, yes. Okay. And a morale check. I'm fine. They're fine. Okay. That's them activated. Cool. All right, then. Um, 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 um. You know what? I'm going to shoot at your guys there. Okay. Uh, because is it middle to middle? It's middle to closest. Oh, okay. Um, now I only get now five die plus four because I'm not moving. So nine instead so of ten. So nine die. Um, because I'm shooting into close combat, my unit will automatically have to do a morale check. Okay. All right. So I'm shooting at you. I need fours to hit. Good roll. That's Fine. a better roll. Finally, a decent roll from you. And. Me. No minuses, so twos, you, you save on threes because you have the armor. So one dies, and that still is a morale check, and I have to do a morale check as well. Hey. So my morale check is fine, and yours lose two more guys. I murder one? You need another morale check. No, I don't. It's only melee combat that counts oh, in. Oh, okay. They don't count as being in melee? They're, this wasn't a melee attack okay. from them. This was a ranged attack. And that was my activation. If this unit is attacked and passed its panic test, the attacker must make a panic. Oh, okay then. All cool. right. So I do. Um, so that is uh, my morale is seven, so it's nine. Eight. Cool. One guy runs away. Hooray. <clears throat> okay. I have to remember that. That's. Okay. It's even at long range. <laughs> it's even at range. Okay. It's all guts and glory here. Okay. I'm going to activate. Actually, no, I don't. They can't get attacked right now. So I'm going to activate them. They're gonna swing at you at your little puppy again. So I get five five attacks. 
Needing force to hit you. Force to hit you. Yes. Uh, come on, little puppy. I want you dead. Three this time. Three saves at three up. Yes, right. Yes. Oh! Dead puppy. He dies. So and I'm going to activate. Now you get a free. That's an a, over a victory point. That is correct. I'm also going to declare an overrun. Okay. So they they automatically declare a charge. At, they make a charge action. So okay. they do a whole so charge, charge action. So you get anything but a one. Uh, no, oh, no, you only so, roll, roll whoops. one die. Whoops, the daisy. That's a two. Uh, oh. No, there's no white dot. It's a one. <laughs> no, it's a two. So you, you made me. In. You physically made me pick up that dice. <laughs> yeah, <I did. laughs> so you charge in. So okay. you get a. All the the terrain did here was minus one to yep, the move. that's so, fine. So I get my full complement of attacks. So that's six dice, and you get uh, two. No, more. not full comp. Oh, because I've got all ranks, got all don't ranks. I? Oh, I've six been rolling dice. one less dice than I should have the entire time. Six Needing dice. fours to hit you. Needing fours to hit. Just Re two. Reroll misses. Oh, that's right, I charge. Successful charge. So five, my friends. Five saves. My armor is four, so I have four saves. Five. Five saves. Right, but four yeah, saves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kill uh, three. Three die. Boop, 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 boop. And that's a morale test. It is a morale test. Six. Oh, four, that's a two four. more run away. Hooray! Ah, Go, man. Lannisters! <laughs> oh, wait, and since you failed the morale test, I'm going to restore one wound for each model that you lost. That's uh, two then, yeah. Bloop, bloop. All right. Hooray! All right, well, you know what? I'm going to use Grey John Umber's final ability. Okay. So. This is going to be cool. <clears throat> so I'm going to attack you back. Um, yeah. So I'm going to attack. And what I'm going to do is uh, I get six dice. Yep. Grey John Umbers says when this unit makes a melee attack, after the attacker rolled, I may reroll any die, and hits from rolls of six do not allow defensive saves. I will suffer d3 wounds after the attack is completed. Okay. And before rolling this die, this attack may gain plus one to hit and critical blows. If it does, rolls of six deal two hits, and mm -hmm. then um, I get plus one to hit, which I'll take another d3 wound. So I could possibly take six <laughs> wounds and almost kill my own unit. Okay, I love it. This is. Uh, but here's the thing politic and intrigue. Unless this unit has only one remaining rank. So I roll the Grey John number first, and yep. I take the d3 wound. If I take three wounds, I would only have one rank which means that I won't take any more <laughs> Okay, so. So, I'm gonna roll six die. And I get to reroll, and I hit on threes. Sixes deal two damage and do not allow saving throws. And I'm gonna take these six wounds at the end. Woohoo! All right, so. Wow, that's the worst of both worlds. I don't get to reroll anything. So. Five, uh, so six hits. Okay, so six damages. So six saves. So six saves. Okay, I get my uh, three ups. Three ups, yeah. Okay, Lannisters, now's your time to shine. I lose two. The two that came back to life. Bloop, they're and dead. And that's uh, two. Morale test for me. Morale test. So that's a seven. And I'm just gonna kill one guy. So that's a save. That's a morale test for you at minus one. Minus two. Minus two, sorry. Seven, that's another guy runs. And, and then, then two D3. So, D3. so the first D3 is three. three, which means the second one doesn't kick in because I only have one rank. Oh, that doesn't... Yeah, because it said if I only have one rank, I don't have to make the D3 work. Okay. Well, that was bad. That was actually worse for me than it was for him. Correct. All righty then. My turn to activate a yes. unit. Okay. Uh, they're just going to move up there. All right, well, I only have one thing left, which is Rob Stark. Now, at the end of this turn, I'm actually going to win the game because I only need one victory point. So I'm going to charge because why not? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, when you declare, no, no, when you do, when you activate, and when an immune charges. So it doesn't help me. So I'm going to charge. I have a five inch movement. Mm -hmm. I need. Eight to get you, minus one for the cover, so which is nine. So I have to roll a four or higher. 
And if you roll a one, it's disorderly. If I roll a one, it's disorderly. And if I roll a one to three, I don't make it anyway. Okay. Four! Hurrah. There we go. So. Rob Stark is making it into combat. Boom, gloom, gloom, gloom. I will take a full on ch uh, um, combat. Yep. So, Rob Stark. So that unit gets six die. Um, I will kick in my special ability of plus one to hit, and sixes do double damage. Cool. So I'll take that many wounds. Uh, wow. So there's those. So three more hits. So you're saving on those, and I lose one guy. Okay, and this is against the crossbowmen that have a five up save. And I lose six. Six guys Blah. die. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh um, Dead. Make a morale check at seven. On sevens. Come on, high dice. Yeah. Ten. And, and they then, don't have that ability. And then my last is they're just gonna fall back. Okay, so you roll a die, six-sided die. What does that one do? One die. And that's you can go back anywhere from one inches to three plus your maximum move. Oh, okay. So I could just backwards? Directly backwards, yeah. Okay. And so then they're... you can get a free pivot at the end. So it has to be directly away. No. So, yeah, directly away, and then you can do a free pivot. All right, something like that. Yeah. For, for example. Okay. Because uh, that would be the end of the activation. So yes. it's end of turn four. I score one victory point for this. Well, you get two and points And one victory there. point for that, which gives me 11 victory points. 11 to my four, five, five points. Yeah. And uh, first one in a, in a small Six game. points, because I killed a little dog, right? Uh, I gave that to you, so you you, you've got that already. So, oh, okay. but yeah, but six. Anyway, but that is a victory for the Starks. Arg. Yeah, a small game of thirty points is to eight victory points. A medium game is to ten, and a long game yeah, is. Yeah, it was good. Uh, uh, I actually didn't use most of my army, so I should have probably stuck the pikemen in like a lot sooner to try and like do some damage and stuff. I really enjoyed the game. That was really fun. Um, you know, thanks a lot, Vince, for showing me how to play the game. You can always come down to Sir Games a lot here in Barry and order your own set from the store. Just so that you know, the game sells for 150 US. We're selling it for 165 Canadian. So it's way under cost. And you get 105 minutes. You get everything you see on the table here, except for the crossbowmen and the archers. You even get Cersei and Tyrion. And you get all the gaming aids and things like that you as well. You do not get these. These were a Kickstarter exclusive. Um, yeah, well, you don't get those. Kickstarter stuff. Awesome. Thanks, Lovins. That was really fun. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. It was very quick. I picked it up really easily. I love the intrigue, the politics, the back and forth, and the maneuvering on the battlefield. It felt like a very immersive game, and I had a lot of fun. Thanks a lot, Vince. That was great fun. You're welcome. And, of course, a huge shout-out to all the Patreons to the channel. If you'd like to join the Patreon battalion, check the link down below and support my content today. One more thing, if anybody ever wants to try the game, Thursday nights and Saturdays I run demos all day of this, Adeptus Titanicus and Fallout. So if you're into, oh, and the Star Wars Legion. Ah, I love Legion, Legion's really fun. So if you wanna try games, give me a call, I'll set it up for you and it'll be ready for you when you get here. I'll put a link down below to the Star Wars Legion battle report that we filmed a few months ago. Okay. Yeah, Boba Fett's out now, <laughs> woo -hoo! Yeah, yeah. And uh, E-Web Blasters and the big uh, Rebel Blasters are out next week. I love it. Okay, thanks Vince for the game. Thanks a lot guys for tuning in and we will catch you next time here in the land of thrones and swords. You didn't know where you were going with that, did no, you? No, I didn't. <laughs> Cheerio all. Scary out.